What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and we're on to another Halloween hangover video. I know a lot of people out there got the Halloween blues and today I wanted to talk about the franchises, kind of scary films, sci-fi horror or horror films that I typically watch like November to December, you know, after Halloween. So these are my like kind of soothing horror films that really just get me through the like that time right after halloween because you know i just miss that it's my one of my favorite days of the year so i'm like eager for it to come the next year and stuff i, I don't want to rush it because then the years fly by but i i love halloween so i'm like already thinking about next halloween once the first this last one's over so let's get into this video and of course share your list down below what are some of the films that you like to dive into from november to december are you into the holiday horror films and all that kind of stuff definitely let me know let's get into this video roll it So we're here to talk about the films, the horror franchises and horror films that I typically dive into from November to December, dealing with those Halloween blues. And one of them for sure is Friday the 13th. I always do watch Friday the 13th Part 6 during October or on Halloween. I always watch that one. But I actually typically watch most of the Friday the 13th franchise films after Halloween. Like they really, Jason Voorhees just, he's my favorite. So he just really helps soothe that, you know, that atmosphere and like kind of make me feel like, oh, you know, next Halloween, don't worry about it. It's coming still. So I usually watch his films in that November time, you know, and then even like before Halloween, I'll watch his films too. But a lot of times right after Halloween, I'm diving into the Friday the 13th franchise. Another franchise I typically dive into around November and December is the Alien franchise. I like diving into Ridley Scott, watching Aliens, going through all of them, Prometheus, all that kind of stuff. Even Predator. I'm really into the Predator films too. Those are like some of my favorite sci-fi horror franchises and those are like perfect for this time of year too because they like, especially when you get into AVP because they have that kind of snow setting. So when it comes to like the cold time of season, it just feels cold, you know what I mean? So, But I like watching those kind of creature sci-fi horror films in this time of the year. Gremlins is another one that I dive into and starting right now I'll still watch Gremlins right now usually in November. I don't wait till December like I just love this film. Gremlins is one of those films that it usually gets a lot of rewatch value in my home because the kids really like it. I love it like it was one of those nostalgia films that I always used to watch when I was a kid so I like it because it's you know got that comedy Christmas horror blend and that's what I really like about that film and it's got crazy characters and amazing puppetry work and you know just a weird tonal shifts like this this movie has no business being a good film but it's a good film. And we also have to talk about some holiday horror films too, like Silent Night, Deadly Night, Krampus. Those are two that I typically watch around this time of the year too. So there's always horror films to watch all year round. These are just the ones that really help soothe those Halloween blues. I like watching these films because they have that kind of Christmas, Thanksgiving holiday vibe to them. So it's just, it's the perfect time to watch these kind of films for me. And these are typically the time I watch them. I also watch other films too, like non-horror type stuff going on through November and December. December. Like usually during November, that's when I'm usually watching the Bond films. So I might actually start cranking out some Bond reviews and stuff like that on the channel. But oh man, hopefully we get like some other good stuff. I want some other good holiday horrors because it's like for real, like since Krampus, we haven't really got like a good a good one you know that was the last one where they really kind of nailed that holiday horror one you know what i mean i want something else because i really didn't like black christmas the remake i didn't like that i do like the original the original black christmas is amazing but I'm, I'm eager to see some other stuff and we're going to be getting some other horror films that are coming out later you know on next year i'm still eager to see antlers i need to watch that one that already came out i need to watch that but oh man like I said yeah creature flicks around this time of the year friday the 13th like, that's this just the perfect time to watch these films, you know, soothe those Halloween blues, and I really like them. So, as I said, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what are the films that you typically like to watch from November to December. Are you diving right into those Christmas holiday horror films, or do you watch some other stuff going on in November? I would love to hear from all of you. And, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps out the channel, and you don't want to miss a thing because I'm going to be posting more videos coming up soon. Like I said, I might be doing some Bond reviews on my channel and also maybe another Halloween hangover video talking about some other favorite things that I like to watch you know at this time of the year or maybe 
you know, actually talk about what I watched during October this year. Maybe I'll do one of those videos and drop like all the films that I ended up watching because I did dive into a lot of different old school horror films that I haven't seen before. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.